Welcome once again to another video. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. Uh, we are over 50, we are 61 or something. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I thank you for supporting this accountant <laughs> who has decided to do like, uh, you know, this bunting. This is a lifestyle, you know, it's something that has worked for me and I'm really passionate about you know it also working for other people that that's why i just decided you know let me spend some of my extra time to just tell people about bunting because it has really really worked for me so i'm really really grateful for your time for spending your time to watch my videos and uh, this is the beginning of the year i hope you are still committed i hope you've started bunting i hope you've decided to change the way you cook your meals and what you eat uh, and you know like in this time difficult times where a lot of people are getting sick truly uh, our food can be our medicine so today i just wanted to talk a little bit about budget bunting a lot of people think that bunting is very expensive which is not really true you know you can simply just lose weight by eating what is in your in your fridge that is um, not starch you know yeah so today i just wanted to go through just some basic like um, if i had to tell you like if you had to stick to a list <laughs> you know, like let's say maybe some of the basic foods that are in the in the green list that can really work for you There are some things that are like very affordable. Probably you already have them in your kitchen Yeah, so I just wanted to say some of those things like for example uh, your meat, you know Like there's already meat that you normally buy whether it's beef pork um, chicken um, even some like chicken feet and stuff liver and so forth all those foods that you have fish you can uh, look at uh, for example buying some of those but I'm sure you probably already have because most of us do eat meat so you can have that and then um, for your oils you can do for example uh, this one which is uh, wholesome I do have a video I will link it I will link it down below um, on the oils that I actually use to cook um, which will be very helpful for you. So like for example wholesome wholesome is very affordable. It's about seven dollars Namibian dollars um, In shops like checkers. I use this to cook um, And then you can also use uh, for example olive oil Yeah, the olive oil the extra virgin olive oil you can also use that but I as I said I already did a video on oils So you can just go and watch that video and it will give you an idea of the oils to use right and then um so also you can have your eggs. I have eggs here. Um, I have some eggs here. Yeah, so you we use a lot of, I personally eat a lot of eggs. So eggs is really good for you. You can fry, you can boil, you can do salads with your eggs. So that's really good. So that is something that you also normally just have in your kitchen. And then uh, for your vegetables, you could just buy, for example, cabbage, right? You have cabbage uh, and then you need your tomatoes onions um, you cook just the way you normally cook your your cabbage but except the oil that has to be different the way you prepare it and your maybe spices and I have here of course a tomato you know like you can just buy in your market um, you can buy in the shops or in your markets or whatever they are cheaper sometimes in markets you can have that and then cabbage i have here cabbage that i already um kind of cut and put in the fridge yeah so this is uh not, not, not cabbage sorry this is spinach yeah so i do also a lot of spinach i do creamy spinach if you also go to one of my other videos you'll find a video where i prepared a uh, spinach um you can also go and try it out for yourself you normally that is something that you normally i'm sure eat um yeah i have onions here which you also do have in your house somewhere and then i have mushrooms um yeah i i like to do mushrooms sometimes in the morning with bacon or what um if you know bunting even works even if you live in a village because especially in the village you have access to all the vegetables that are not even expensive and probably just coming from your garden we have um like mushrooms um i also do mushrooms sometimes and um i have bacon here yeah so i would do like my bacon most of the time in the morning with eggs bacon and eggs and maybe mushrooms or just with vegetables um yeah so bacon is really good because um it's good fats right 
So if you eat a bacon and good fats, it will keep you full for a long time, right? Yeah, we have that. I also have uh, cauliflower. Yeah, I have cauliflower, which I do the rice with it sometimes, and sometimes I just boil. Um, I also have another video, short video on cauliflower rice, so you can just go and also watch that one. And then um, I have um, here a sweet potato. So this one is actually straight from the market. You also find it in the shops. I just boil my sweet potatoes and then I eat basically just like that. That's healthy and it's something you also find, easily find. Um, and then I have my spices. Like I said, I like these Cub Smart spices. I normally get them from, I think, food lovers. Uh, yeah, but basically with your spices, you can just buy like 100% natural spices that you just mix yourself and they'll even be cheaper sometimes than the other ones that we normally buy. Yeah, so then, um, yeah, I have, this is one of my favorites. I do have pumpkin. I like to buy the pumpkin cubes that are already cut <laughs> because I like things that are easy. Okay, but you can also just buy the ones in the shop or if you are fortunate enough, you have maybe a garden you take from your garden or and then you cook. So I like pumpkin cubes. I like cooking my pumpkins and it's fast. I cook and then I like to mash them most of the time, but you can also just have it like that and then maybe just add a little bit of um, maybe butter and yeah, but I'll do another recipe on pumpkin, which is very easy, very fast uh, for our people that are eating the best way of eating your food, which is the bunting way. Right, and then I have that, uh, like I said, I'm not really gonna go into the oils because I did uh, just recently like a, a video. Yeah, and then um, I like green tea, right? But the tea, you can basically have almost any tea, even um, rooibos tea, five roses, yeah. So I, I like, I prefer green tea, so I normally have green tea. And then I have normally xylitol as my sweetener of choice, kind of. Yeah, but you can also use honey, honey, honey. Yeah, so I also use honey. Uh, and honey is just basically one teaspoon. If you use more than that, you'll be going to the orange, no, actually red list, I think. Okay, so you also have honey. Um, yeah, then I did for us who are so used to our pup. <laughs> you know us Africans who love pap. I did a uh, coconut flour pap, a little recipe. It's also somewhere in my uh, channel. You can look for it. Yeah, so I also do coconut pap sometimes. Um, and then I also mix it with um, this psyllium husk. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Okay. Yeah, but this, I just use one spoon of this and then I use three spoons of this but for the full recipe you can just go to my channel and watch um yeah and it's nice i like it and then for dairy um fresh milk um yeah so we use like in namibia we have nut milk i use this one or you can use any other one which is full cream and uh i also have omahere omahere in south africa i think it's called amasi yeah omahere uh plain you know not the one that is sweetened I also use this sometimes as a, just like a snack or something, but I hardly snack now, but especially in the beginning when you start bunting, you might uh, not be used to not eating all the time. Maybe your body might want you to snack, but I will also come up with another video on just things that I used to basically snack uh, or that especially I used to when I started. Um, yeah, so we have omahere here and you know you only per day, like with dairy, you should only have like 125 grams. Uh, because uh, this one can actually store your weight loss, right? Okay, there. Uh, what else did I leave out? Yeah, so I think basically these are like the basics. So with Bunting, I really want to share with you, my good people, is that it does really, really not have to be expensive, right? It does not have to be expensive. You can use what you have, your meat that you normally use, that you normally have, and then you can add your vegetables. There are some people who've lost weight actually with bunting just, you know, maybe like you are somewhere where there are not these fancy shops or whatever. Basically, they just used uh, chicken or a beef and then avocados, carrots, 
uh, onions, tomatoes, spinach, cabbage, you know, uh, maybe whatever uh, vegetables that you find, that is what you can use. There's also butternut, butternut is orange list. I, I like to use more pumpkin, but if you are using green and orange list, you can also go for butternut. And then in Banting, because of the way we cook, our food is really, really delicious. It's not like uh, those other diets. And like I said, actually, I don't like to say that Banting is a diet. It's more like a lifestyle. It's just a certain way that you eat. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you do comment below that you've also started. And let's make this a great year together. And I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye.